Hi everyone, it's Doug from Beyond Territory. Welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build a nice, quick, easy piece of terrain for the Peninsula War campaign for your Napoleonic miniatures. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. If you like, please like and subscribe. Take care. So starting off, kind of marked out on a bit of MDF wood. This is gonna be my base. And my small little building is gonna be about four inches by four. And the main dwelling is going to be three inches and then there's a little bit of steppage on this side and it kind of helps me map out the construction of what I'm going to create. So I'll be using foam core card to create the wall structure. This stuff is so good for construction and crafting. You can get it in different shades, blacks, whites, greys. Um, and Easy to cut with a sharp knife. And what you can see is basically it's a layer of card on either side and foam in the middle. Some you can get to peel away, etc. It's a nice, light, durable, strong material. You can use a variety of glues to stick together. And I'll cut out my walls. When cutting foam core board or foam core card, Make sure you have a nice surface to cut on, cutting mat, etc. Um, provides stability, make sure you don't, you don't slip. Um, it works out nicely. And the grids really help make sure that you're a bit more accurate with what you're trying to cut. Right, now I've got all my pieces cut out. I just do, before I stick anything down, just do a quick check. Dry fit before glued down. A nice little joining method for foam core card is if when you line up a piece on top of the other, you mark out the width of that piece of foam core card. You take a knife, basically, you don't want to cut all the way through, you just want to cut the top outer layer of foam and the card, and then score along the bottom edge. And then your foam will butt up nicely against that other piece. And when glued, you'll see you have a nice clean joint. On the build, I'm going to have a set of steps leading to the doorway of this little house. So I just need to make sure that my doorway is big enough and my steps are big enough in relationship to the rest of the building. So my doorway ended up being a, an inch and a half tall and an inch wide, just to make sure that the figure looked like it could resemble fitting through the doorway. There you go, look, drop them in. Cool. So what I've done, I've cut out the door piece and I keep that to one side. Important to keep that piece because that will help with the building of the door in a bit. I use XPS foam um, and what I'm going to do is glue that just in place here um, by the side of the door. Again, Quickly attaching it with some hot glue, big splurge, place it down. So I've glued down the main structure with hot glue and I've cut it away in some windows, top story, bottom story, and leaving one wall off if I need to make any adjustments. So with the square down, just chop, make sure slicing, this stuff's really easy to cut. I just do it by eye. You can be a little bit more conservative, measure it out, take your time. I'm just going to get stuck in and I pick away the outer layer of the foam on the foam core. I come in with my hot glue, give it a bit of a blurb, and then drop in, insert it, and it looks pretty cool. Not bad looking window to start with. All right, the building's coming on nice and quickly. All four walls, we're in, we're on. The lintels, whatever you fit, I don't even know if that's the right word, but you've got the bits of structure across the windows and the door frames. There's a block of XPS, this is here, and I'm gonna work on the stairs now. The height of building is four inches. This is about an inch high, door's an inch and a half. So you get a bit of perspective for how tall it is. Building stairs. This piece of foam is half a centimetre, 
which is what, a quarter of an inch. What I'm going to do in thickness, play my last first piece down, like so. Cut this in half. Got hot glue. Compound filler. Well, there's modelling compound, fill in the gaps, cracks if I wanted to uh, tidy it up. Cool, that's quick stairs. For this build, I'm going to build the roof separately. So I'm looking for a piece of foam three inches wide, find the middle, inch and a half. And we go up inch and a quarter. And then take that middle point to each corner edge. And then cut the shape out. So what I've done is I've made two of them. I have my dowel. My dowel is six inches long. So there's a little bit of an overhang on my building. I'm going to take that down by an inch. That's five inches long. So what I'm going to do is just take the corner edges off. And in the middle as well. So it'll be about a half an inch overhang on each end. Attach a piece of dowel, make sure they're about the same length, or make sure they're the same length, that makes sense. Up, make sure the triangle pieces you've got right end up the right place. Okay, line up your building and you can glue that frame or have it as a detachable roof. Totally up to you. For this door, all I've done is trim off the extra bits of coffee stirrer sticks a cross beam that way and that way, the width, and then what I'm going to do just to make it a little bit different, do a diagonal bar as well. So I'm going to lay that on top, on the pencil, mark off at the angle I need to trim it, and cut that down. And then a bit of glue, pop it in, It'll fit nicely. Look cool. The PVA, my door. I've done with my offcuts of coffee stir sticks. I've cut them to fit and slide them in touch on the window. So I'm going to focus on the roof. One of these is card from a cereal box. I'm going to use part of the box where the seam is. So when you open up a um, cereal box, I grab it. It's on one of these folds. Trim it to fit, and this will be the tip of the roof, that's it on like so. So for the tiles on the roof, once it's stuck down, I'll take a strip of the cereal box card and I just not cut all the way up, but most of the way up, even slices. So once you've got your strip and you've got your cuts in it, just fold up every other one, put the pencil in, wrap it around your pencil. And then do it on the ones that you missed out. And you create some variety in the tiles that you're creating, tile shapes now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use PVA, I'm going to glue the tip of this strip and stick it on and then repeat the strips on top of each other, shall say. So I've got the roof tiles on the edges. What I'm going to do now is take little pieces, bend them in the middle and put the tiles going along the top. I have a slight overlap. So the basics is done for my building. It's now picking off all the bits of stringy glue and give it a good coat of my Mod Podge mixed with black paint. Um, what I'm also going to do, I've got some fine sand and I'm going to sprinkle some sand on top of it as well to give it a different texture. So my base coat's finished, it's dry. I've got a nice coating of black acrylic. And I, because I've got my Mod Podge in there, it's a bit sticky, so I managed to put some sand on there. Just give it a bit of a weathering texture. Okay, I'm now gonna come in with an off-white. So I've mixed a bit of white acrylic with a light brown. So it's a bit creamy, but it's just a, Starting point of the base coat for the building. It will work, it's going to be a nice light brown. It's going to come in. It's 
I think I forgot to mention, but I'm also painting the wooden beams in amongst the roof. Sorry. And I'm also, here it is, painting the wooden door. A nice light brown as well. Next bit, coming in with a dark grey for the stonework, the steps on the tops. It's going to add a bit of weathering just on some of the pieces just to score into the paper foam pour card. Just create a bit of depth. Okay, I'm going to come in with some Agrax Earth Shade and I'm just going to apply it to the wood and on some of the creases and folds. There it is. And along the bottom edge of my building. I might drip some bits down as well, a bit of water. This is drying, my Agrax Earth shade is drying. I'm gonna come in with burnt sienna for my tiles. Now that the washes are dry, I'm just coming in with white acrylic and I'm just going to touch up some of the areas, make some of the white wash a bit brighter in certain areas. I want to keep it muddy and warm at the bottom of the building. What I'm going to do now is come in with my dry brushes, I've got a big one and a little one, uh, and a light brown, it's a bit more ochre and I'm going to dry brush take some of this paint off on the woodwork just pick up on the edges on the door I also use a dry brush of the light ochre brown and just on the sides of the wood next dry brush is on the stonework and I'm going to use a grey light grey for the tiles I'm going to dry brush with a burnt sienna but mixed with quite a lot of white and I'm just going to use it for a big dry brush but I only want parts of the tiles, the sides and edges. All right we're nearly there, I'm going to come in with some PVA glue for some basin. Then I come in with some sand, this is just some play sand. Um, what I'm doing this time is coming in with brown ground from Army Painter. It's a bit thicker. I'm just going to sprinkle a few bits on just to change up the view of the textures on the ground. And this time coming in with some cork pieces. A bit like little stones, but I'm only going to do a couple. Here and there. Okay, going to come in with some sticky tufts. I'm uh, going to break a bit of them apart and give a little bit of a feature of tufts of grass in amongst the wasteland. Put my door back in. I can choose to have it in or out. I've got that option now. And there we go. Nice peninsula Iberian building. Quite tough with it. Fairly quick, very cheap to make uses a lot of the materials I had to hand and not bad as an outcome quite happy with it hope you picked up something from it hope you you could have a go at it try it out yourself uh, maybe adapt some of the methods to something else that you're interested in doing for your hobby I uh, hope you like and I hope you subscribe and enjoy what I'm doing and I'll catch you soon take care bye